Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great week. I'm still working on the 125 gallon right behind me. It's already inside the house. Uh, but first, if you're new to my channel, my name is Leo. This is my daughter, Madeline. Can you say hello? Oh, your shimmer and shine shoes. And this is my son, Adrian. They're just hanging out today. We finally, or I finally managed uh, to get the aquarium uh, inside the house. I had to get the neighbor to help me out because this thing is so heavy. Uh, but check it out, guys. Let me know what you guys think on how it came out. Hopefully you guys remember what it used to look like. It had, um, it had the cabinet looking like my kitchen cabinets, that color. Uh, so I stained it, sanded it, and protected it. Also, the tank has been cleaned and I did paint the background. So that's something that I've been doing the last week. It was a lot of work. Um, truth be told, this tank is a little bit old on the old side. So I probably will only have this tank uh, for about a year, maybe a year and a half. I've already been pricing out some, um, some other tanks or a brand new tank because the last thing I want to happen is for this tank to fail because it is a little bit on the older side. Uh, so I've already been pricing them out. They're not that expensive. Um, so hopefully by the end of the year, if not the beginning of next year, I will be getting a brand new tank. But for right, for right now, we're gonna have to do with what we have. So let me show you guys what I got going on today, guys. Um, I'm gonna be installing the sump tank uh, this is my, I don't know how many gallons this is. I'm guessing um, with the water line up here, it's probably, you know, maybe 20 gallons, maybe uh, 15 to 20 gallons um, up there. I did buy a brand new sump pump. Uh, this is a real Hyperflow 17HF, and this thing is a beast. Check this out, guys. This thing is a beast. It looks like a little transformer. It's got a bunch of cushiony. Um, so parts on there also I got a, a control valve that I'm going to be using um, this is an adjustable adjustable connector um, where I could you know disconnect it without having to take too much apart and I also got a one-way uh, flow valve because um, some pumps um, can create a siphon and all the water will uh, drain back down if the power goes out so this is kind of a safety check so the water doesn't siphon out of my aquarium all right guys so i do have my kids today i'm not going to be doing a step-by-step -step on how to do this um i'm going to see how long it takes me uh between breaks i'm going to be uh dry fitting everything uh getting it to right where i need it and um and we'll see where we end up or we'll see how long it takes us we should be able to get water into the aquarium today and get it up and running. So give me one second, guys. I have everything dry fitted. I haven't glued anything. Uh, so let me show you guys where I'm at. So this is the filtration system. The bio balls are gonna be over here. The pump is gonna be right here. Um, right here, I have a quick disconnect. I'll be able to disconnect the pump in case um, it ever fails or something. something's wrong with it. I'll be able to disconnect it right here without having to cut any PVC. Over here is a flow control or a flow check valve. Um, this will kind of stop um, any water from siphoning down into the aquarium or into the filter box. On this side is where I have uh, the flow control. That's not really a shutoff valve, it's more of a flow control. Uh, so I can adjust the flow. And back here is where it'll come up up into the aquarium. I'm not going to glue this one uh, down here. That way I can kind of adjust where to point the water. Um, if not, I'll ask like a 45 degree angle. Dun, dun, dun. All right guys, so we're finally getting water into the aquarium. Um, I'm going to let it fill up in a little bit and then I'll fill up the sump. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, but it should get filled up in the next uh, 30 minutes or so. All right, guys, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but the tank is finally up and running. She has water and she is alive. The output is over here. 
So the flow is actually not that bad. I was actually a little bit worried thinking the flow was gonna be a little bit too much. Uh, seeing as how we're only gonna be having some goldfish in here and I don't really want that much of a flow. But I added a lot of bends into the piping so I think that slowed it down a little bit, uh, which is okay, I'm okay with that. Now, I do have a light ordered for this tank. It should come um, in the mail in the next couple of days, hopefully. Um, I'm not going to add any fish right now. All I'm going to add is um, water conditioner so it dechlorinates. Um, and I'm going to let it run for at least minimum four days. So I'm going to let it run for at least four days. Um, I'm going to be watching it like a hog, make sure it doesn't leak anywhere, make sure it doesn't there's any there's no problems with anything before I put any fish so next week we will be adding one of the orandas over to this tank I will only start off with one oranda for the meantime um, let that run for about a week make sure there isn't any problems with the aquarium make sure there isn't any problems with the fish um, and after that after a week we should be able to move all the orandas over to the main tank so that's exciting guys it's been a lot of work just to get it to where it's at right now if you guys have any questions concerns um, comments please let me know and I'll try to address them as soon as possible uh, but we finally have the aquarium up and running so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode have a good day guys